Today we're going to do a mixed review of metric word problems. So our learning goal today is I will be able to record and measure um, equivalents in two column tables and you'll also be able to define symbols of measurement. And the learning goal we are working on today is right here. So metric units of length conversion tables. So remember when we did this a kilometer times 1000 is how many meters you have because a kilometer is a thousand times greater than a meter. So all I have to do is multiply by a thousand to convert kilometers to meters. Now if I was going backwards remember we would have to divide by the same value, right? So 3,000 divided by a thousand is three or my check is three times 1,000 is 3,000. Six times 1,000 is 6,000 if I'm going from kilometers to meters. And if I'm going the other way from meters to kilometers, I need to divide by a thousand. So I would get 12 here. But my check is, if I multiply, is 12 times a thousand, 12,000? And the answer is yes. And then 42 kilometers times a thousand is equal to 42,000 meters. All right, well, if I'm converting from meters to centimeters, remember meters are smaller by a factor of 100. So I have to multiply meters times 100 to get to centimeters. So 1 times 100, 1 meter, is equal to 100 centimeters. To go backwards, you'd have to divide by 100. So 300 divided by 100 is 3. If I'm going from meters to centimeters, I would multiply by 100, and I would get 40, or 4,000, excuse me, 4,000 centimeters. Going the other way, I would divide by 100, and I'd get 120 meters is equal to 12,000 centimeters. 15 times 100 is 1,500. So let's talk about adding meters. So on this screen, if I had 12 kilometers, okay, well, I know 12 times 1,000 will get me my meters, right? Because kilometers times 1,000 is equal to how many meters you have. So I have 12,000 meters here. But if I had 12 kilometers, 43 meters, I would need to first multiply my kilometers by a thousand. So I would get 12,000. And then I would just add on my 43 meters. So I would finally get 12,043. If I wanted to go the other direction, I know that Anything that's in the thousands place is going to be equal to my kilometers. So if I have 14,321 meters, right, the 14 would be my kilometers and my 321 would be the meters. So I'd have 14 kilometers, 321 meters. Now if I wanted to add here, I would do... 14 kilometers, 523 meters, plus 123 meters. Okay, all together we would have 14,523 meters plus 123 meters. 3 and 3 is 6, 2 and 2 is 4, 5 and 1 is 6. Bring down your 1 and your 4. So that would be just in meters. But if I wanted to convert, I would just look at the thousands place, and I'd have 14 kilometers, 646 meters, because it's equivalent. And then subtracting. Here I have 53 kilometers, 56 meters, minus 42 kilometers, 234 meters. 
If I were to convert, I'd have 53,056 minus 42,234. So 4 from 6 is 2, 3 from 5 is 2. I have to regroup because I cannot take 2 from 0. So 2 from 10 is 8, 2 from 2 is 0. So I have 10,822 meters or 10 kilometers, 822 meters. Again, those are equivalent values. So if I wanted to do this with centimeters, if I had one meter plus 350 centimeters, well, I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So I would do 100 plus 350, and I get 450 centimeters. If I had 3 meters and 43 centimeters, well, I know 3 meters is equal to 300 centimeters. So I would just put the 300 and the 43 together to get 343 centimeters. And finally, if I had 4,201 centimeters, well, I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Well, I have 42 that would be in my hundreds, right? Because you look hundreds over. So I have 42 meters plus one more centimeter would give me 4,201 centimeters. Now let's look at capacity or volume. I know to go from liters to milliliters, I multiply by a thousand because a liter is a thousand times bigger than a milliliter. So I take one times a thousand to get to my milliliters. If I wanted to go backwards, I'd have to divide by 1,000. So 23 divided by 1,000 is 23. Remember the check is 23 times 1,000 should equal 23,000. 6 times 1,000 is 6,000, so 6 liters is equal to 6,000 milliliters. 15 times 1,000 is 15,000 milliliters. Remember, going backwards, you have to divide by 1,000, so it'd be 74, and I can check because 74 times 1,000 is 74,000, and 31 times 1,000 is equal to 31,000. So if I wanted to do some more conversions, 2 liters, 432 milliliters, so 2 liters, 432 milliliters, I want to see how many liters that's equal to. Well, 2 liters is equal to 2,000 milliliters. Now I just add on the second part. So I have 2,000 plus 432. So I get 2,432 milliliters. All right? Now if I were to go the other way, it works just the same as it did with the meters because we're using the same prefixes. So if I have 3,812 milliliters, if I want to know how many liters it is, I would just look at the thousands place. I have 3 in the thousands place and 812 in the ones family. So that's how that would work. If I have 12,543 milliliters plus 52 liters, I would need to convert first. So my 52 liters is equal to 52,000 milliliters. 52,000 milliliters plus 12,543 milliliters would be 64,543 milliliters, or if I wanted to just convert to liters and milliliters, I would first look at the thousands place. I have 64,000 and then 543 left to be my milliliters. And 43 liters, 352 milliliters, minus 13 liters, 324 milliliters, 
I need to convert first, so I'd have 43,352 milliliters minus 13,324 milliliters. Subtracting, I'd first need to regroup. The 5 becomes a 4, the 2 becomes a 12, because I cannot take 4 from 2. 4 from 12 is 8, 2 from 4 is 2, 3 from 3 is 0, 3 from 3 is 0, and 1 from 4 is 3. So I have 30,000. 28 milliliters or 30 liters and 28 milliliters. Now if we were to convert mass here, remember kilograms to grams, you multiply by a thousand because a kilogram is a thousand times greater than a gram. So one times 1,000 is 1,000. If I want to go backwards, remember we need to divide. So my check is three times 1,000 is 3,000, 17 times 1,000 is 17,000, 42 times 1,000 is 42,000, and if I want to go backwards, I have to divide by 1,000, so 49 times 1,000 is 49,000. So if I wanted to add grams, if I had one kilogram, 432 grams, well we just found out that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, so we'd have 1,432 grams total. If I had 12 kilograms, 31 grams, well I'd have 12,031 grams. If I wanted to go backwards, if I had 124,321, I'd simply look at the numbers in the thousands place to get my kilograms, because kilo is 1,000, and 321 grams left, because that's my base unit. So those are my ones place. If I did 4,234 grams minus one kilogram, 332 grams, here, I know that I would have to first convert. So I have 1,332 grams. I'd be subtracting. So 4 from 2 is 2. 3 from 3 is 0. I cannot subtract 3 from 2, so I have to regroup. 3 from 12 is 9, and I would have 2. So 2,902 grams, or 2 kilograms, 902 grams. And last one that we are going to do together. If I have 12 grams, kilograms, sorry, 12 kilograms plus 4,432 grams, I need to convert my 12 kilograms. So I'd have 12,000 kilograms plus 4,432 grams. So I'd end up with 16,432 grams, or 16 kilograms, because that's in the thousands place, 432 grams. Here are some problems for you to try tonight. And then if you wanted to also do metric units of length, you could practice with that. And here are some meters for you to try tonight, and more meters. Thank you so much for your hard work. Remember to think about your learning goal before you end this video. Good job. Bye.